Hey everybody, welcome back to the Print 3D channel. Today is August 5th, and that means day 217 of the 3DP 365 project. And on today's episode, we printed out this very cool Scarab Beetle box, so stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back, and thank you for joining me here for day 217 of the 3DP 365 project. As always, down in the description, there's a facts section. There's also the Matter Hackers affiliate link. If you're in the market for some new filament, just use that Matter Hackers affiliate link and you really help out the channel. On today's episode, we printed out this very cool Scarab Beetle box, and our print turned out awesome. I am super impressed with my GMAX print quality. This is a very, very cool model and all the parts printed out very, very easily. There were no problems whatsoever. We used four different colors of Matter Hackers Pro Series filament. We used gold for the body parts. We used some of that translucent aqua for the wings and the little gem in the top. We used Pro Series blue for the little highlight along the bottom. And I used some of that Matter Hackers Pro Series glow in the dark green for the little gem in the front. And all of our prints turned out perfect. I am super impressed with my G-Max. This thing is very, very cool. And we downloaded this from Thingiverse. And once we had it downloaded, we separated it out into the different colors and of course, different printing types. So for the, for the wings, for the translucent aqua print, we did a 0.2 millimeter layer height with no infill and no top layers, just bottom layers. We also did on the body parts, we did a 0.16 millimeter layer height with four top layers, three bottom layers and 20% infill. For the little, uh, the little blue highlight piece, I did the same settings, a 0.2 millimeter layer height with four top layers, three bottom layers, and 20% infill. And for the little uh, glow-in-the-dark gem in the front, I did 20% infill because I wanted this to be as solid as possible. And I ran it out at a 0.16 millimeter layer height because I wanted to make sure the curve of the gem turned out really clean. And it really turned out pretty perfect. I am super happy with the results. And the assembly was actually pretty easy. There's instructions online to put this together. And you need super glue. And you got to take your time with it and glue everything together and pause in between and make sure you let all the little parts that you've glued together dry because it does have a built-in hinge inside which gives you access to the secret compartment and there is a secret lock so presently you can't open the little top here it moves but you can't open it but if you slide this little front piece forward just a little bit that frees up the top and then you can get to the little uh, inside container container part or little compartment inside and that's a nice little compartment in there. It's perfect for little small items. Little keepsakes would fit perfectly in there. And the little lock mechanism works really good. And like I said, you just have to take your time with it and you know make sure you let all the glue dry before you start assembly. And be very uh, careful around the hinge area. And the little gem in the front is a little tricky to get in on the one on the top here. But just take your time and read the directions that are online. But other than that, after about nine to 10 hours of print time and about 45 minutes to do the assembly because of the glue dry time, our print turned out awesome. This little Scarab Beetle box is very, very cool. And I'll definitely put the link down in the description. This is from one of the famous artists up on Thingiverse. Everybody knows her work, Lobi. And she did an amazing job on this little Scarab Beetle box. I mean, there is some really great Egyptian detail on here and it is very, very cool. And I love this design. And I love the fact that to open it, there's a little secret built-in lock. I thought that was a very cool way to keep this safe and keep whatever you have inside here safe. Because other than that, it kind of looks just like a little uh, sculpture that you would put on the shelf just to look at. And it's got some weight because of all my infill and everything I used for it. So it does feel like it could be, you know, a really hefty item. Like there could be something inside. But if somebody tried to open it and didn't know how, they wouldn't be able to access whatever you have hidden away. And this is a very, very cool model. Like I said, definitely download and print this one yourself. It takes about 10 hours of print time and a little bit of super glue and a little bit of patience. And at the end, you have a very cool little scarab beetle box with a little secret lock. Well, that about wraps it up for day 217 of the 3DP 365 project. I hope you guys found this episode interesting and informative. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like, and share those videos, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.